So what up, it's your boy Shake. Last year, this same time, I gave you guys a video to help you guys write down some dates and then potentially help you guys avoid some of the fake information that's gonna be coming out surrounding 2K22. So to help you navigate through some of the BS and some of the view mongering, I try to give you guys some dates that you guys can be prepared for when 2K is gonna actually release their information. Now last year I was right about my dates and I was right about the cover athlete choices. But I wanna preface this video by saying I could be wrong. Like none of this is facts just yet. I'm just giving you guys some ideas of what to expect. Now 2K always releases the first Friday of September. This year, that's gonna be September 3rd. Now even if I'm wrong and it's some early release opportunity, at least you have these dates in your calendar. Some of you guys wanna get your My Players overall up a little bit, dropping some VC in there. Some of you guys buy special editions, you wanna pre-order that kind of stuff. But just have your money right by September 3rd. Now the cover athlete is usually announced July 1st during the NBA Finals. Expect it to be the same way this time. July 1st falls on a Thursday. For 2K21 current gen, the cover athlete was revealed on June 30th. So I expect the same thing this year. They might do the current gen cover athlete on June 30th and the next gen cover athlete July 1st. The Legendary Edition cover comes out a day later or a day or two afterwards. I expect that to be like July 2nd or so. Some of you guys might buy the next gen version hoping to get the current gen version for free with the hopes that you'll get a next-gen console sometime around the holidays or whatever. Now, I contend that whoever the cover athlete is, for some reason, that ends up being the most overpowered build in the game. For example, current gen 2K21 was Damian Lillard. He's pretty much a play shot. Play shots dominated 2K21 current gen. Zion Williamson was next-gen's cover athlete, and he's like a small forward, power forward. And look how many badges those power forward, small forward positions got. Everybody was running around with a 6'7", 6'8", Zion Williamson type build that could do everything. Shoot threes, dunk on everybody. And the list goes on the further back you go. This is just something I believe. Cover athlete might be tied in to the best my player build in that current 2K. Now, as far as the 2K22 cover athlete, there's been some rumors about Luka Doncic. I'm not saying I have a big problem with that, but I feel like there were some better choices if he is the cover athlete. Don't get me wrong, I think Luke is the truth, but if it was up to me to sell 2K22, I'm going with Donovan Mitchell, Kawhi Leonard, Trey Young, D-Book. My personal favorite would be continue the trend of promoting the younger guys, the younger generation, so consider John ja Morant. I mean, I really like John ja Morant as a cover athlete. If not John ja Morant, I still hope they consider Donovan Mitchell, Trey Young, Devin Booker. I mean, these guys would definitely sell 2K22, but they might have picked that cover athlete a long time ago as they did with 2K21. I mean, they had Zion gonna be the cover for like almost a year before the game came out. Now I'm gonna give you guys some more dates. The first current gen gameplay trailer came out August 6th. That was the Everything is Dame trailer. It had some gameplay in it. I definitely think we're gonna see that same thing take place again somewhere around August 6th, early August. For you guys that are my team players, the first my team trailer came out Friday, August 21st last year. It's the same thing going back for the years. So expect it to come out Friday, August 20th this year. Now the current gen demo trailer to let you guys know you can download the demo and start playing 2K21 dropped August 24th on Monday last year. So expect it to come out August 23rd a Monday this year, roughly two weeks before the launch of 2K22. I could be wrong about this. I'm not sure how safe it is to say that we'll be allowed to demo the next gen version of 2K22. Just make sure you mark August 23rd on your calendar anyway as well, just in case. And again, they might push the next gen demo opportunity a week later. So it might be the week right, right before 2K22 drops. Now the current gen neighborhood trailer, Welcome to 2K Beach, came out the last Friday of August last year. So late August is when they dropped that trailer. I'm expecting the same thing this year. I could be wrong, but the last Friday of August, every year they've always shown the neighborhood trailer at that time. Not sure how they're gonna do this though. They could show current gen the day before next gen, or they might blend it into one video where they show a part of the, the current gen neighborhood and the next gen city. Now I'm gonna give you guys my expectations and my predictions. I expect improvements on defense for next gen. Back in late May, Mike Wayne posted on his Reddit page, for 2K22, I'm going to switch the logic back to using the perimeter defense rating for outside jump shot contests like it was in 2K20. What rating makes more sense for contesting shots in the paint, interior defense or block? So basically he was asking the community, how should they improve defense 
for 2K22. So it's obvious that defense is a big focus. This was the latest announcement he made pertaining to 2K22. So I know that defense is a big deal moving forward. I don't mind believing this because in order for 2K22 to be considered an improvement from 2K21, defense had to be a major priority. In early April, Mike Wang tweeted, do you want shot aiming in 2K22? And the community responded with an overwhelming no. So I expect shot aiming to be gone. It was kind of a shot in the dark anyway. It was an experiment. I don't know why they decided to put that into the game even though no one asked for it. One thing you want to commend 2K for is their attempt at trying new things. However, I personally think they should try to do the things that the community is asking first before trying some of these new innovations. Let's get certain aspects of the gameplay done right and definitely work on those servers, these issues with file corruptions and people losing builds. I think they should focus on that first and then maybe consider some new things once they perfected those other things that were wrong with the game in the past. Now I'm going to predict that current gen is gonna have the same neighborhood. I could be wrong. I'm okay with being wrong with that. In fact, I hope I'm wrong with that. But if you look at history, you go back to 2K16 and 17, they gave us the same parks with just different lighting and some you know, cosmetic differences here and there. The same thing happened for 2K19 to 2K20. They gave us the same neighborhood. So I'm just basing this on facts of history. I think that current gen is gonna get the same neighborhood to be 2K Beach all over again with some light modifications, couple changes here and there. That's my prediction. My expectation would be for them to have affiliations for everybody, just like we have it on next gen. My prediction for next gen is it's gonna be the same city but with some minor improvements. A couple of cosmetic changes here and there, some things might look a little different. I'm gonna discuss in another video coming soon how I would have done the city if they asked me personally at the round table, I think it would have benefited the entire community better. One of the things on my list is I think it should have been smaller so that way we could travel to places faster. Either you make the city smaller or you make the rides faster or make the hoverboard accessible at a lower rep level. Whatever it takes to get us around the neighborhood faster, but, but none of that even really mattered because it was no real incentive to go to other parks throughout the city because you got less rep. So I expect the rep to be equal across the board all throughout the city for next gen 2K22. Could be wrong, but that would be a really smart move. But I should lower my expectations for that because they never took out the fluctuating overall system where even if you get a dub, your overall can still drop. No one likes that and they still brought that back. So maybe I shouldn't expect them to allow us to get equal rep all throughout the city in 2K22. I predict a new rec center. There's gotta be something new that they're working on because otherwise 2K22 is gonna be 2K21.1. And we don't want that. So the rec center is a big focus. They gotta make sure there's something new or different. I'm expecting new jerseys, multiple locations. Something has to be different with the rec center. We've had the same location for the last four 2Ks. No excuses for this no more. No more, there was no excuses ever, period. You gotta keep making innovative changes. You can't be making us play 5v5 pickup games in the same jerseys for four 2Ks. That's ridiculous. I've got some more videos I'm working on, so I don't want this one to drag for too much longer. Anyway, let me know in the comment section some of your predictions for 2K22 and maybe some of your expectations. Maybe you feel like you should lower your expectations so you're not disappointed, or maybe you're gonna get hyped regardless because they do something that the community actually asked for and that we can all be excited about. So I don't know, let me know in the comment section below. It's your boy Shake, smack that like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Do you guys agree or disagree with this statement? On Twitter, what do you think about this build? This one does not have very many, if any, weaknesses to it. I'm trying to figure out what ha what's happening with strength and the physicals, because it looks like it's blanked out. So that's one thing where I would definitely not leave at the min, uh, just because strength actually helps you not get dumped on. Uh, just because strength actually helps you not get dumped on. Uh, just because strength actually helps you not get dumped on.